Hello everyone, um, today we're going to be looking at how to resize images using Windows, um, this is Windows 7, um, and there are a couple of quite easy ways to do this, uh, I didn't know this until a couple of weeks ago, so it's really handy. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all my images, uh, right click them, and uh, just click resize pictures, which is an option that's right there, um, which I'd never noticed before. So what pops up is um, image resizer for Windows which um, basically you can just scale them all down to a specific size. You've got small, medium, large, or mobile, which is very small. Uh, but you can also do custom, um, and you can scale it to percent. There we go. So I can change that. So it's like if I want it to be half the size. So you can see I've got this one has been resized. Yeah, so this is the smaller one, and this is the original image. So if you're wanting to upload your pictures to Moodle or anywhere, and you just think, oh, this image file size is too huge. I've taken it on my smartphone, which has got a massive resolution. You can just put, throw it into that and just squash them all down. Um, so what, what I did there, though, was um, I went into resize pictures, and I set the scale to be 50%. So what that does is that just halves it on both sizes, so you don't squash the image or rescale it. But you can tell what size an image is um, when you look at it down at the bottom here. So you see it's got dimensions, and it's got 360 by 480. So that's quite a small image. Um, but th the other one that I had originally wasn't too big. It was 720 mm -hmm. by 960. So that's not too large an image. Uh, so uh, there's also another cool tool that you can use. Um, if you have an image like, uh, let's have a look. Actually, I'll just keep using this one because it's quite a good example. So I have an image like this one. And uh, I just want the image to be the cats. I don't want to have this, this headroom and the upside down pillow in the background. I don't like that. I want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to open with um, a Microsoft Office 2010. Yeah. And there's a really good Microsoft Office tool um, which allows you to crop and edit pictures. And we'll just go super simple though. If I just click edit pictures, uh, I can click crop and you see I get these guide handles on either side. So that means I can drag these and select what area of the image I want. So say I want like a banner image or like a profile picture of my cute cats. I can do, in fact, maybe, yeah, I want it sort of a bit more square because say I want it to be like my Facebook profile picture or something like that. Um, I can set it to crop out the top and crop out the bottom here as well. Press OK. And then uh, I can save that. So we'll go save as rather than just save, which would overwrite the original image. Uh, I'm going to go save as, and then I'll just save as cute pets one, two. I'll save that, and then I'll go back to my cute pets, and you can see you've got cute pets one, two, yeah. nice square image which kind of cropped out there. You can just m sort of play about with that until you get the, the image that fits what, what you want to do. Because say you want like a banner image, so um, these images aren't very good because they're they're all portrait. But say I want to make a like a banner for my cute cat's Facebook page or something. And I think Facebook does it automatically, but if you wanted to do it for a website or anything like that, you can you can narrow it right down. Have yourself a nice narrow banner image, yeah. which is useful. And, it, and if you're using that for a course, for example, and you want to have, you could put some text over that using paint or something. Um, and you could have like, you could have cute cat's company or something. There you go. So I've got my, my nicely cropped image that could be used as a banner or something like that as well. And yeah, thanks for coming along. Thanks for listening. And uh, hopefully we'll come with more interesting cute cat pictures and tech tips soon. <laughs>